Hey friends, today we're hanging out at the Magic Kingdom. A new Adventure Friends cavalcade actually debuts today and we're going to be able to see some of our favorite characters like Coco and Moana and also we're going to meet up with some friends, enjoy some food, ride some rides and have a wonderful day at the Magic Kingdom. Anywho's, let's go do this. Today is Friday, February 11th and it is going to be extremely busy today. The weather is perfect and a lot of people are excited to come out and see the new cavalcades. I am also excited to see the new Cavalcades. This is a great start to the new year 2022, seeing more entertainment brought back into the parks. I feel like that is something Disney has been lacking. They need to bring in more entertainment, so more Cavalcade, more shows and stuff like that. That's what we need to see in the new year. I also hear that there might be some other things that are gonna be coming back today, but I'm not too sure about those. That's just kinda hearsay, but we'll find out as we go about. And I am a big fan of the Cavalcades. Here comes the 50th anniversary one right now. And I just love singing the song. The magic is called in. So that first cavalcade you just saw was the 50th anniversary one. The new one is all about adventure characters. Like I said, Moana, Coco, and I'm actually wearing my Moana Roosevelt shirt just for today because I knew I was gonna be able to see her. I wish we could see Maui because that would be amazing. Maui's on here too. But uh, yeah, I'm excited. It's at 11.25. So we have a little time before that and I figured uh, maybe some breakfast. A little breakfast in the Magic Kingdom. My favorite place to get breakfast at the Magic Kingdom is the Sleepy Hollow Refreshments because they have a good variety of a little bit of everything. And today, we're getting waffles. Last time I got a waffle at Sleepy Hollow, I got the Mickey-shaped waffle, the giant Mickey-shaped waffle with strawberry compo and whipped cream. This time, we're going to do something a little bit more fancier. And here it is. It's the fresh fruit waffle sandwich. Look at this. It's not a Mickey shaped waffle, but it does have Nutella, blueberries, strawberries, bananas, and it's thin and crispy. And we're going to fold it kind of like a taco. So I don't know why we don't call it the fresh fruit taco instead of a waffle sandwich because it's going gonna, it's gonna to look like a taco. It took a little bit to actually get the waffle and the parade or the cavalcade should be starting soon. So I think we're going to take this waffle to go and go get a nice spot and sit down and wait for the cavalcade to come while eating a uh, fresh fruit waffle sandwich or taco. Look at how many people are sticking around to find a good spot for the cavalcade. Now, this isn't like a full-blown parade. It's just a cavalcade coming down, but everyone knows today's the first day and normally they're not waiting around like this. So this is all word of mouth. Uh oh. Something's happening. Oh, that's not it though. Now that we got our spot, we can make ourselves a little waffle taco. Look at that. Fold it right in half. And now it's a sandwich or taco, like I said. I have a feeling this might be a little messy. So we're going to keep the plate in hand and we're just going to bite into it. Like I said, Nutella, fresh fruit, everything in there. Mmm. Wow. I'm also enjoying some waffles with some friends. We got Kristen right down Main Street and then Shannon on the Second Star Collective. Look at that. Almost done. My Almost done. already gone. <laughs> I know. They're good. They're but you're using a fork. I kind of ate mine like a taco. I mean, I sh should have eaten it like a taco. I feel like it would have been better. Yeah, it feels good. You know, yeah. waffles on Main Street with the castle. <laughs> I'm kind of shocked on how well this waffle is actually holding up. The undercarriage is a good, strong support. The Nutella isn't making it too bad. No one's got time for soggy waffles. I mean, it's a little soggy because of the Nutella, but it's not too bad. I'm, I'm impressed. I also ran into Maria with LBB TV, and she has some custom-made red velvet Mickey waffle. Yeah, they're cake pops. Cake pops. And I thought they were waffles. They're not. They're cake. Wow, that is really crazy. Will, will you be my Valentine? Oh. I would love to. Thank you. Oh, look at. Oh, I just had a gigantic waffle sandwich, but oh, now I got this. It's like roses, but better. I love it. Thank you. I always forget flowers. Mickey shaped anything's the way to somebody's heart. That's the way. <laughs> Enough with the waffle business. It's time for some cavalcade, and uh, we got a good spot. I mean, you want to get that prime spot with the castle in the background, and I think we got it. We're standing right here, and look at that. 
a great spot with the castle in the background. The cavalcade's gonna come our way, and I'm excited. I really wish we could see Maui, but I already know he's not gonna be on the float, but it's still gonna be great to see Coco and Moana and some of our other like adventure friends. I think the uh, three caballeros are actually gonna be on it as well. Oh, wow, look at the banner there. And I can see Miguel actually leading the way. That is so, so cool. to make it down in front by Main Street USA before it ends. I think we're gonna do it. <laughs> this is your face, guys. <laughs> bob and weave, bob and weave, bob and weave. Oh look, we got a big, like, yeah, you're doing the same thing. <laughs> There's a bunch of people, they're all doing it. <laughs> Holy moly, we made it. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> it's gonna be a little tight. Wow, look at that. <laughs> That was amazing. Now that's what I call a cavalcade. So many characters. I think there was 30 characters. 30 characters, two floats, and I love seeing Miguel, and I love seeing Miko. Miguel led the way. He was the first one out there, well, besides the banner itself. And it was great to see some of our favorite like movies represented in the cavalcade. Like, I loved it. I really loved it. And I also loved singing Vamos. Like, that was the highlight. And they were really hustling out there. They were going so fast, and they were making so many dance moves. It, it was amazing. Best cavalcade right now, I have to say. 
Now there's another Adventure Friends cavalcade coming at 2 o'clock, I believe. Uh, they have them scattered times throughout the day, 11.25, 2 o'clock. They're, they're different uh, times, I don't know exactly for sure, but I think we're going to head over to Tomorrowland and maybe ride a ride or get a snack. Even though we just had a waffle sandwich, I wouldn't mind getting a drink. I haven't really gotten the chance to look at the wait times, but the other day I was at Hollywood Studios and it was so, so busy. So I have a feeling it's gonna be busy here at Magic Kingdom, but we'll take a look and see what has a low wait time now. It doesn't look like that's a good start when you see Big Thunder Mountain is temporary closed because uh, the Splash Mountain attraction is still closed, so everything's gonna be super high. Jungle Cruise is 100 minutes. Winnie the Pooh is 50, Peter Pan is 90, Pirates is 80, Seven Doors 120. Oh my God, Space Mountain's temporary closed too. So holy moly, it's gonna be a very busy day. All the mountains are closed. You know if all three of the mountains are closed at Magic Kingdom, it is an extremely busy day. I can't even believe it. I don't even know if I've ever seen this happen. Splash Mountain is closed because of refurbishment, but the other two are just temporary down. And wow, that's gotta be intense. The four cast members are probably struggling today. Look at this though. It looks like the globe is back spinning round and round. You know, it's not really the best thing to be touching this, but it's really interesting. I love it. I definitely need some sanitizer now though. <laughs> Because all of the mountains are actually closed right now, all the wait times are super long, especially over here in Tomorrowland. We wanted to do the people mover, but holy moly, I think we're gonna head to the Carousel of Progress. I haven't seen the people mover wrapping all the way around Tomorrowland since the opening day of the people mover, but this is it right here, look at that. And I, I said, hey, we can always do the Carousel of Progress. There's a gigantic group of people waiting for the Carousel of Progress too. So it is an extremely busy day when those three key e-ticket attractions are down. Hi friends! Hi friends! Have fun! So I think we're just gonna hop on the Carousel of Progress. I haven't done it in a while and uh, it's a great big beautiful tomorrow. <laughs> I don't even know if we're gonna make this show. Yeah, we might not be able to make this one. Almost a full show here, folks. <laughs> oh, once again, welcome to Walt Disney's Carousel of Progress. Parents, please watch your children, and for your safety, please remain seated. The theater will be rotating several times. Experience the few changes over the years. Our show still revolves around the same theme, and that's progress. May the century begin. There's a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. Believe me, things couldn't be any better than they are today. Yes, sir, buildings are towering now as high as 10. Holds 50 pounds of ice. Milk doesn't sour as quick as it used to. And our dog Rover here keeps the water in the drip pan from overflowing. It wow, so that's the little Egypt doing the hoochie cooch, eh, Dad? Isn't she a fuck out? She's the star of the New World's Fair in St. Louis, and, <clears throat> and you put that away before your mother finds it. Aw, oh, Dad. You? <laughs> Shining at the end of every day. Stadiums are springing up all over, and boy, nobody hits that old horse hide like that new fellow Babe Ruth. Crater holds more food and ice cubes, and thanks to our automatic dishwasher, oh, I don't have to dry the dishes anymore after supper. Gives Rover and me more time to enjoy our evening stroll together. <laughs> Later, boy. Let's cheer up Sarah by singing our song. Come on, everybody. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow Shining at the end of every day There's a great big beautiful tomorrow And tomorrow is just a dream away Now all our household items will do anything we tell them to do. Great. Tell the refrigerator to bring me a root beer. Well, it can't quite do that. But I'll show you something it can do. Tree lights 30% brighter. 
Well, maybe by then ovens will read our minds. But hey, as long as we're all here and happy and together for the holidays, who cares if I burned our Christmas turkey? I do. I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Dad. Someday everything's going to be so automated, you won't ever have to cook another Christmas turkey again. <laughs> It was nice to actually go in the carousel of progress, but it was so hot in there. So, so hot. I think the more people that are in the theater, the more it actually makes it hot. I think the temperature always is like set to the same, but wow, it was hot. But I love it anyway. Now, I think we're going to say hi to Stitch. He's hanging out on the Galaxy stage or the Galaxy Gateway, and it'd be fun. I love Stitch. It's cool to see Stitch up on the stage, but he is going to be leaving soon because he has to get ready for the Adventure Friends cavalcade that we just saw. He was actually in it, so if he's in the cavalcade, he can't be meeting with guests here, so he'll actually get ready for his uh, run down Main Street. But there he is, 626. He's got to go make sandwiches. He's got to make sandwiches? That's what I was going to say. No, no, no. He's got to go make some sandwiches. Time to make the sandwiches. I already made the sandwiches. <laughs> I'm pretty sure a love bug just flew into my eye. I think it's there. Is it there? It's an ant? It's an ant? <laughs> it's an ant? I thought it was a love bug. I'm like, I didn't even know it was the season. <laughs> now I think we're going to head over to uh, Buzz Lightyear and maybe do a little Space Ranger spin, see who can become a galactic hero. It looks like the line died down a lot. Earlier I was watching people run to Space Mountain because it reopened and they were literally like running. They were running through Tomorrowland and I don't blame them because whenever a ride does reopen, usually it's a walk-on. So they did the right thing. They were very smart. I feel like it's been a while since I rode Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spain and I also feel like it's a while since I've gotten Galactic Hero. So it's going to be a challenge today, but we're going to try. I'm not even kidding you guys. There is a bee inside Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. Look at, there's a bee right here. I have never seen this before. I'm gonna pick him up. Come on, little bee. Don't sting me. Don't sting me, bee. I'm gonna set you free. There goes my friends. We're having a competition. <laughs> Hi! Woohoo! Hi, friend. Thanks for driving Mr. Morrow on YouTube. Yeah. Thank you! <laughs> oh boy, it's game time now. Oh no! Zergo Vision! <laughs> ah, I'm not paying attention to the game, I'm gonna lose! I'm not doing too good here, guys. I wasn't in it to win it today. I don't think we're gonna get it. I'm too busy spinning. <laughs> Oh boy! Whoa! <laughs> I think I failed. I failed us, guys. Failed us. Maybe next time, though. Thanks, friends. <laughs> Mission accomplished, Space Rangers. Check the status board and review your score. And remember. To infinity and beyond. Overall, it was not my best performance, but it was still pretty amazing. Hi, how are you? <laughs> it was still pretty amazing. I like the ride itself, and sometimes I like to sit back and just enjoy the ride instead of just trying to get the Galactic Hero. But I do know how to get the Galactic Hero if I try. We wanted to come back down to see the next parade or the new Adventure and Friends Cavalcade. And look, people are still lining up for it. Like, isn't that so? I think it's awesome because it's nice to see people gathering for entertainment. But like, this many people know that this cavalcade is the first day. Every other day, it's not like this. It's never like this every other day, right? It's just today. Now we're gonna watch the next cavalcade when it comes down, but we're sitting on the opposite side because we wanna show the characters that are on the other side of the float. Uh, but I'm excited to see uh, Miko again and Miguel. Miko and Miguel probably were my two favorite things to actually see. Miko, I don't know why, because you don't see him that often. I haven't seen him outside Animal Kingdom, so it was really cool to see him here. And plus he's so cute. I think raccoons with their hands are like really awesome. I think they all look like my dog. Here it comes again, and look at all the people lined up. Like I said, 
This is really, really something special. Oh, here they come again. There he is, there's Miguel. Oh, look at what he's there too. Hey, that's the man. Yes. <laughs> Oh, see, I didn't even see Pocahontas before. Hi, Pocahontas! <laughs> Thank you! Oh, and there's Miko, look at him! Oh, I love it! I can watch that parade over and over again. Well, I keep on calling it a parade because I feel like it is a parade. I mean, it's it's much more than just one simple cavalcade. But now I think I need to get myself a drink. And since we're here on Main Street, maybe a mint julep from Casey's? Sounds a little fun for me. I love mint juleps. Before we head in to get our food, look at this, a little piano action happening. I use the mobile order because it's a lot faster and I'm excited. I love mint juleps. They're one of my favorite things and they're so refreshing. But I'm also interested in trying that pressed penny silk pie. That sounds really, really cool and it's a 50th anniversary treat. I don't know, I'm thinking maybe I should give it a go. Here it is. We got a little mint julep and a French silk 50th anniversary pressed penny pie. Look, and you got Steamboat Willie on it. This actually looks really, really good. I'm excited to try it. And also, I do love me a mint julep. And I don't know why, it's like melted already. It Doesn't it? It is like, it, it's not, it's, yeah, it's not gonna be like a slush as much. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, you know, it's still gonna be refreshing though. No matter what, it is still refreshing. This is also gonna be a little bit extra minty because there was two garnishing in there, two garnishes in there. So we're gonna give it a go here. Wow, so refreshing. Huh. And I like that it's not fully frozen because now I'm not gonna get brain freeze. So I can drink it as fast as I want. It's like the ultimate hack. Now we're gonna try this French silk pie and I'm not too sure if it's cuttable. Oh, it is cuttable. I thought the tart on the outside was actually like hard but it's very really soft. So we'll just pull it out right here. Look at that, oh, look at the inside. That's what I'm talking about. And that's a good bite. It is, it's kind of cut just perfectly like a pie there. And I was shocked because I thought it was a little bit harder than what it is, but we're gonna try it. We're gonna give it a go here. I, I feel weird the way that I'm holding this. Like, I don't know why it feels weird. I can't really like, finish, like position the fork right in my hand. Oh, there we go. There we go, I switched it over. That's the way. Now I feel better. So let's try it. Hmm. wow. But this is actually really, really good. And I, I wasn't expecting it to be as good as it is actually. So kudos to that. And it's a 50th anniversary treat. I know that normally Casey's does have a French silk pie on the menu like year round, but I think this one's special because it has the pressed penny in it. A little fancy Steamboat really pressed penny. Now it's time to grab that penny. Gonna eat the penny now, poor Steamboat Willie. <laughs> you gotta do it though. And plus, I kind of like just sitting in the hub grass, drinking mint juleps and eating pie. It's kind of really awesome. We, we've been doing a lot of cool things. Waffles on Main Street, you know? I'm loving it. Today's a good day. 
Now that we've had our mint julep and our French silk pie in the hub grass, I think it's time we start making our way out. And I guess with that, we are done here today. What a fun little adventure. Got to come out, have some breakfast, enjoy the new cavalcades, hang out with some friends, ride some rides. All in good fun. I love Magic Kingdom. It was really, really nice. And also, my nice Moana shirt. It was, it was a good day. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye!